Hey guys, it's me Erica and so it's been a while, actually a long while, <laughs> since I've done a video um, for YouTube and you know I thought today would be a great day to do one. Um, you know, sometimes you just have to pull out the camera and do what you gotta do. So anyways, today I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna go to do I'm going to lunch and um, I I was trying to figure out what to eat um, because uh, my last videos, I had been really trying and attempting to follow the carnivore diet. So I still want to, but let me tell you, I had the most hardest time trying to stay faithful to being a carnivore. Um, so I enjoy, I like eating meat, right? I love to eat ribs and I love to eat steaks. I love to eat meat, but I find that when I have too much meat for myself, I start to get like a sick feeling or I start to, um, kind of like just get what we say in Spanish, asco, right? It's kind of like, oh, you just kind of like want to throw up, right? When you see it, that feeling. And so I really was attempting uh, to be on carnivore and to, um, uh, you know, trying to do my the best that I could on it, right? Um, I do have goals in mind. I'm trying to lower my blood sugar. There are things I want to do. And I know that, um, you know, the typical American diet does not help me at all in any way, shape or form. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that. So, you know, my, my thought was, you know, let me try carnivore, let me see what it does. And I was really good at it for a couple of weeks. And then after a while, I just, I couldn't, it took me like a little bit of time to transition. Then I did really good. And then after a while, I was just like, oh my God, I cannot do another meal with just meat only. I just can't do it. I just felt sick. I felt sick to my stomach. Um, so I've been, you know, so I ended up which you know was the bad thing was I ended up going in the complete opposite direction and I ended up going on a binge of just eating whatever I wanted actually for for a while now it's been a few months um, and I am definitely reaping and seeing the results of that uh, of those actions um, you know so I've had to, you know, slap myself in the face, get a grip, Erica, you know, there are things you need to be mindful of when it comes to eating, right? I'm telling myself all of this. There are things that I need to be mindful of. I need to take care of myself. I need to eat better, you know, and it just becomes so freaking hard to do that sometimes, you know, especially like when you're with family and everybody's enjoying such good food and here in the Valley, we make such good Mexican food. Our Mexican food is like, oh my God, you know, you haven't had real Mexican food, Tex-Mex food, I should say, when, you know, until you come to the valley, right? And so I'm just like, oh my God, like the food is so freaking good and it's things I love and enjoy and it, you know, it, it's something I enjoy with my family and my husband and, you know, I'm like, oh my God, you know, I don't know. So not only am I getting sick of eating meat, right, during this process, but I also just have all these emotions and thoughts going along with it. I'm like, oh my God, it's really not that complicated. But apparently for me, it is, right? So I'm just like, oh my God, Lord, I don't know what to do. I've got to get better at, you know, disciplining myself. I've got to get better at eating better and I've got to get better at these things, right? So, um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. That's my update. My journey, I failed. I did bad. I didn't do it at all. Uh, well enough, you know, uh, I tried, I attempted it, I didn't succeed. But not to say that I'm a failure. Uh, now I've just got to figure out what's best for me. And so uh, I, I'm sure you can relate, right? I'm sure you guys can relate. So what I'm, what I find and what I'm finding is that eating meat is good, but I need to have a little bit of keto in there, a little bit of veggie, a little bit of you know, avocado, a little bit of uh, cilantro and, and pico de gallo. And I need to have certain things. Um, you know, there's certain things that help me in the process, right? Um, now, of course, when I eat pastas and when I eat all those kind of things like that, I get super sick. Um, I just can't handle it. Um, you know, I love pastas, but I can't do it. It gets me sick. So, you know, I've just got to figure out, okay, what works better for me? Um, my my dream and my goal for that moment in time, and it still kind of is, is to convert com completely to be a carnivore. But I know that 
it may just be a transitional period that I really have to go to in that transitional period, you know, may just happen to last for like a really long time. <laughs> Some people say they get through things pretty quickly, but I don't know with me. I'm like, that's, that's, that's not quick. Um, you know, but I think what I'm going to do is focus on yes, eating more meats, more protein, high fat proteins, uh, work better and, um, adding in, you know, those side items that help me get through when I start feeling a certain way. Um, when I start feeling that, that off school, that, that sick feeling, you know, so that's where I'm at. Um, in a nutshell, I, um, did really bad for a while and, and I, uh, you know, I've got to come to, uh, my senses and I need to snap out of it. You know, uh, I can't be eating like that long term. I'm only getting older, if not getting younger, you know, and I've got to do it. So, um, anyway, so that's just an update of where I'm at and what's going on and what happened with my 30 day journey. Um, it wasn't a dream. <laughs> It ended very abruptly um, and turned into a bunch of chaos. But now I'm like, okay, Erica, let's get it together. You can do this. Thank you, Jesus. I can do this. So, um, yeah, now I've just got to get back on track and I've got to, you know, discipline myself a lot better. Um, you know, for so long, you just, you know, eat whatever you want and you get so accustomed and so used to it. And you don't realize, well, at least I, for a long time, didn't realize, you know, how it was making my body feel, how it was making me sick, how it was doing this and doing that. And, you know, and now that I'm older, I'm like, oh my God, like, I've really got to get a grip, <laughs> like really got to get a grip. So yeah, so that's me getting a grip. That's what I'm telling you. Um, and hopefully I can uh, continue on this revised journey. Um, thank you, Jesus, because I know I can and I'm going to do it. And uh, I just, you know, I like to do these videos because it really helps keep me um, really accountable in some way, really on track in some way, right? Like, I am like, oh my God, I did a video. Like, this is what I was thinking. I was like, oh my God, I did a video on my journey and I completely failed. Now, what am I going to tell people? Like, what am I going to do? Like, right? I put it out there, you know, and now I'm like, I'm responsible for myself. Like, I did something you know, and I need to be accountable for it. And this really doing these videos and sharing with you guys, uh, you know, people that I don't even know, but it helps me, um, in this aspect. I really, you know, and I enjoy it too. So, all right guys, well, that's just all I have to say. I am thankful, uh, for you watching. Um, if you want to be friends, let's subscribe, hit the subscribe button and we can be friends and be sure to, uh, give us a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> It's not us. It's me. Okay. Thanks, guys. Bye.